As discussed in the tower section, the higher the incline, the easier some exercises become, and planking is one of those exercises. So oftentimes when we're using the total gym, we're thinking about bringing the incline up to make someone more successful for planking. So for instance, if Jeff was here and he was using the glide board, and he was doing a plank, you can do the board with at the bottom or the closed position, or you can make it even more challenging with having the board open. You can move through some arm reaches here, you can move into a, a forearm plank, you can move into some leg drivers. But a lot of times what I find is that some people need a little bit more of a base of support and it's still challenging having this width. So what's really nice is now the glide board comes up. So coming back, Jeff's gonna bring the glide board down. About incline number 13, if you bring the glide board up to the highest position and you're at incline number 13, the board becomes parallel. And now this opens up someone's base of support to where they're able to do some dynamic planking moves here. They can, again, add the arm reaches forward and back, side to side, rotational. You can sit and do leg drivers. So this could be anything, even if you're working on core and or shoulder stabilization. What's really nice is think about side planking too. You can have the person transition on their forearm or their hand and they can move into dynamic side planking where they're either holding, they can add hip drivers up and down, arm reaches. And if for whatever reason, you can also move into reverse planking. So I have people first sit on the glide board and then transition away. So I'll have Jeff sit, face me, and then you can even go into some dynamic bridging where you're lifting the buttocks up and even just transitioning even into just lat presses to get some of that spinal stabilization. So think about how you can transition someone and how you can progressively move someone along. I might have them start with this board horizontal and then I might move the incline level down, adjusting the board accordingly. And then I might also transition them to face the tower. So it opens up that one exercise into many different ways.